Anyway, back to Ruby and Britt here. Uh, Britt says Ruby's always changing her name to fit in, changing her hair, getting more tattoos. Because everyone knows who she is. And Ruby says, I know who I am too. I just haven't had the freedom to prove it. I don't know who you are. You're like every other woman I've met. You're entitled. You're self-centered. And you're banging some dude in the back. And the crowd gasps. Taz is appalled. There's nothing wrong with being in love, he says. That's a great line. <laughs> Wait, right. Brit, Brit says Ruby is lying to everyone, including herself. You call yourself the runaway, but you didn't run away. You got fired. Crowd gasps at that one, too. They're into this, man. I got to talk about this line before we go any further, because we've had some some folks that were very upset about it. Why? Why would you use the line? You're, why would you tell the people she was fired from WWE? You're f- hiring these people that were fired. You ever, uh, you know how uh, every now and then WWE will go to, they haven't done it in a long time, but they used to go to Japan. Mm-hmm. They would run these shows in Japan. And uh, when they went to Japan... The Japanese fans that would go to, like, New Japan shows or Noah shows or whatever, the Japanese fans did not want them going to Japan and doing, like, New Japan-style matches. Or, you know what I'm saying? They wanted the WWE show. They wanted The Undertaker's long-ass entrance. They wanted him doing his goofy stuff. They were going to the show to see what they saw on television. You must play to your audience, okay? Okay. There is not one person watching AEW, not one, where when when Britt Baker says, you're not a runaway, you were fired, they all of a sudden think that AEW is actually a minor league promotion hiring people that WWE has fired. The AEW audience, and I think everybody knows this, when they hear a line like that, they cheer... Because they are happy to see people that they liked now getting an opportunity. Ruby getting fired is not a uh, it's not a a negative on Ruby. Like oh, Ruby sucked, and we hired somebody that sucked. They love Ruby. Ruby getting fired is an indictment of WWE, and they're happy to hear that someone that was underutilized in WWE got fired because WWE was stupid and they have since hired her. So it is actually a line that the AEW audience accepts and cheers as opposed to the idea that, oh, well, you know, they're going to, this audience is going to hear that AEW hired this fired person and now they're, they're just second rate. It's not like that at all. You have to know your audience. That is not what this AEW audience is thinking. So... They go back and forth some more. You got your head up Tony Khan's ass. All your nicknames won't matter after I beat your ass. You won't be able to call yourself champion. Eventually, Britt attacks, but Ruby kicks her ass. And the segment ends with Ruby standing tall, music playing in the ring, holding up the belt. It was a great segment. I was very much into it, and this feels like a big-time match. Yeah, you don't say. How many times did you see uh, uh, Ruby cut a promo in WWE? Hmm. I am trying to think of any. Yeah, with those random uh, five-second scripted bullshit things. Why, why, why doesn't someone do promos on WWE TV? Because they think they can't talk. Look at Ruby Soho. Yeah. First fucking night in with a long promo, and she fucking killed it with Britt Baker. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.